Today, I'm working on some of my greatest grunts I have ever made, and I'm gonna show you how I painted them. So I'm starting out with a basic base coat right here for the skin. And a lot of times this takes like two to three coats to do. So it's a very long and kind of annoying process, I guess you could say, but it has to be done to get the skin color on there. I wanna do a video like this for a little while because I feel like painting videos can help you guys out a little bit. And also I really like making these grunts with green stuff. So I figured why not show you guys how I paint them up. Now we're gonna be using some Citadel paint and going over the figure and basically all the parts that I've made out of green stuff. These grunts took quite a while to make, I'm not gonna lie, they probably took like 10 hours or so just for the green stuff work, maybe longer. I go a little crazy doing this stuff sometimes. But when I'm painting it, it kind of all comes together and all that hard work that I put in really starts to show. But I basically only had to do one layer of paint, maybe two in some spots on the armor because the Citadel paint is such a good covering kind of paint. It really attaches onto that green stuff really well and holds its color, which is awesome. And then I'm going around and making sure I get all these little cracks and grooves taken care of. Also made sure I'd made a green grunt as well, kind of like a grunt heavy. The other ones are kind of night ops kind of feel, but I wanted to make a green one just to mix it up and not make them all the same color. Eventually I'm gonna be selling them on my eBay, so expect those to be on there. I'm not gonna say they're gonna be super cheap or anything because I took so long to make them, but they look so good. I really think whoever buys them is gonna really enjoy them. Now I'm doing the helmet pieces, and these are some nice silver highlights. And adding all these little bits of detail with the highlights in certain areas, like the silvers, and you're gonna see some gray come in later, and also some brown, really makes the figure kinda pop. Also adding these blue lights in the middle of the eye slits on the respirator kinda tank for the grunt. Now for the back, there is a small little piece right here that's gonna be going right on there. And then we're gonna be using some brown as well for this top section, and also some brown on the arm pieces. I wanted to paint up his nails and just give him kind of that bony look that you see in the video game, just to make the grunt look even more detailed. All these little details really matter. And then we're doing a nice red dry brush onto the skin to give it that irritating kind of look and uh, it just adds a lot more to the figure and more depth into the skin, and it's pretty important to do. Then I did a few more highlights onto the grunts themselves, the armor here, a little bit of silver on the very top, and some blue lights in the back. And that was pretty much it for the painting on these figures. Pretty simple, but dang, they look good. These figures were a absolute blast to work on and I am so, so, so happy with them. I have a bunch more stuff coming in the future. I actually have a bunch of flood figures coming in the future and also some Spartan Slayers and maybe even a couple Spartan Fire Teams and a couple Flood Warthogs. I have a bunch of stuff kind of planned, but I've been focusing a lot on stop motion and trying to get better at that because I really want to start telling some amazing stories. It's a journey. I'm getting there as I go. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments down below what you want to see me make next. Also, we're almost at 10,000 subscribers, which is insane. So if you guys want to see anything specific for a 10K special, let me know in the comments down below. And I'll see you all later. Peace.